Now hey guys welcome back to a new video but this time it's gonna be a bit different I'm actually gonna show you guys a tutorial on how to import uh, a 3ds max file to your ZBrush model now this is something that I had a lot of problems with in the beginning but now uh, well it's gone way better so let's open 3ds max there it is um, so let's say that you're making a model in ZBrush and it's a guy or a girl whatever and you want to make a hard surface but it's kind of hard to do it on the on ZBrush and uh, um, you used to prefer 3ds Max for that so let's just make something really easy let's just create a box um, convert it to an adult poly um, and now well let's just give it a few edges I'm just going to make just a face in the middle okay few more on the side there it is um, this is gonna be the eye it's gonna be the, f uh, the smile oh well let's just leave it like that and this is quite a hard surface and it's better if you model this on 3ds max than on uh, zbrush and i think it's way easier uh, to do this so i'm gonna go to the top left hand corner and i'm gonna click on export and i'm gonna save it on my desktop right here and i'm just gonna name it box face now the most important thing here is where it says save as type just go down and click on gv object export and save it it's gonna save something like this just press on export and done and that's it um, now you want to go to zbrush now this is just a model that i used in the beginning one of my first models it was a gorilla skill uh, skull sorry um, and let's say i wanted to add the um, well the model that I made on ZBrush in here well what I used to do is just go up here and go to import and then I would just select uh, the box face right here and open it and my first object it disappears and I can only see my box that I made in the 3ds Max uh, that's the problem that I had in the beginning I didn't know how to you know um, well, do it in the same ZBrush model every time when I do this well my first model is gone and that's the problem that I had so how to fix this is well I'm gonna open it I'm gonna open it back like to save changes nope this is really easy but yeah, it's difficult in the beginning and you gotta understand how it works so we're just gonna wait until it loads okay so we're back and so basically what you gotta do is select well go to substool select your um, your skull or your first layer and go down here to duplicate we're gonna um, duplicate it well yeah we're just gonna duplicate it there it is and what you gotta do is click on the second one and if you're using the transpose one and you clicked on move you can actually grab the, the middle circle and move it so that you have two of the same ones so what you gotta do is really easy select this on your sub tool leave your first one B just leave it and now go to import and select your box face or whatever that you want to use click on open and don't be scared it's gonna be really big in the beginning I don't know why I think maybe my settings in the 3s max is a bit too big but I don't, I don't really care that much okay so um, it is there but well my skull is way too well it's not too big well, I mean my box is way too big <laughs> So what you're gonna do is go down here to deformation. Now, if you want to open tools um, of the same 
tabs at the same time just hold shift on your keypad and click on deformation and now here you can see size rotate offset bend as bend as Q flatten you name it um, so just hold shift of a uh, hold size and keep going down let it go keep going down let it go and as you can see it's becoming becoming to get really small you can still zoom in and make it as small as you want just gonna leave it like that and then let's go back to um, my um, first object now if you insert your um, 3ds max file and you cannot edit it or it just keeps staying like that you gotta remember to uh, make it a polymesh 3d and click on edit so you can obviously edit it <laughs> um, and drag it and now you can do whatever you want so yeah that's gonna be it just a really simple tutorial now I'm gonna make a few more of these um, so yeah if you guys would like to see more and I almost hit 100 subscribers so yeah want to help me do that just subscribe you'll make my day and there it is now you can keep on modeling your model that's just I don't know just take something clay build up and I'm gonna model this there it is besides maybe a bit thicker there it is <laughs> it's pretty funny now I usually do this because the hard surface while making it on ZBrush is I don't know it's kind of hard and I would prefer using 3s max for that so yeah that's gonna be it guys if you like the video subscribe like uh, for these kind of tutorials we're almost at 100 subscribers I think two more subs and then I'm in it and yeah that's gonna be it bye